In this session, we're going to continue to look at Ralph Mooney inspired outlaw country licks. The backing track that I'm using in this video will be available for you to use for free on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link to the video in the description below. Here's the lick. I'll play the lick slowly before we break it down. We're going to be in the key of D. We're going to start out at fret 10. I'll break this down into two moves for you. Move 1 sounds like this. We'll be at fret 10. No pedals, no knee levers. Pick strings 3 and 4. Then pick string five. Move to fret eight, no pedals, no knee levers. Pick strings three and four. Move back up to fret 10, no pedals, no knee levers. Hit strings four and five. Move one review. Move two sounds like this. I'm at fret 8, my B pedal is engaged, I'm going to pick strings 4 and 5, and I'm going to squeeze down on the A pedal. Move down to fret 5, B pedal engaged, I'm going to pick strings 4 and 5, and squeeze down on my A pedal. Move to review. Here's the lick in review, move 1. Move two. And then for the four chord of the G, I moved up to fret 15 and repeated the lick. Back to the one chord at fret 10, repeat the lick. And for the five chord, I moved up to fret 17, the A chord, and repeated the lick. And I finished it off by going to fret 5, B pedal engaged. I'm going to pick strings 4, 5, and 6 and squeeze down on the A pedal. This is definitely one of the iconic Ralph Mooney licks. Uh, it can be found uh, on the studio version of Waylon Jennings' Lonesome Henri and Me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Be sure to leave me a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There you go.